This tutorial will help you understand why we need weights to account for in our statistical analysis, especially when each observation in our data set is not equally weighted. The other purpose is to show you how we can subset data to see if trends are different for various subgroups in our data set. So through a series of examples, I will illustrate when your observations are not equally weighted, um, that is when each observation measures something but the weight it carries is different from others, then averages and standard deviations have to be computed as such to account for the difference in weights for each observations. And then I will show you how we can do this in R. And also I will show you how to do this in standard deviation, weighted standard deviations or cross tabs. Um, and then also in the process how to subset data. Now, here's a good example to illustrate this, this um, concept. Let's look at three countries, United States, China, and Luxembourg. And let's look at the uh, economies per capita, that is the average GDP per capita. And you see that the population of the United States is 309 million, and its average GDP per capita, GDP per person, is about $46,000. China has a population of 1.35 billion or 1350 millions and it has an average GDP per person of $3920. Uh, Luxembourg is a very rich country although with a population of only half a million has a GDP per capita of $107,000. If someone has, were to ask us what is the average GDP for these three countries and we compute averages as we are accustomed to, we will, we will naively or incorrectly conclude that the average GDP for the, these three countries is $52,307. But that's not the right answer. That's the wrong answer. Why? Because this $4,600,000 per person represents only 309 million people, whereas this $3,900 per person represents 1.35 billion people. So these observations, these GDP per capita, are weighted differently. Here, this 46,000 has a weight of 309 million, whereas 3,920 has a weight of 1.35 billion. And, and though we see $107,000 here as GDP per capita for Luxembourg, it carries only a weight of 0.5 million. So in this naive, uh, or er this naive estimate of uh, average GDP assumes that the population of the three countries is the same. And how do you avoid this? Well, you need to compute weighted means because weight matters and you have to, to correct for it. Uh, how do you correct for it? Well, there's a procedure, it's called the weighted mean. So if W represents weights and X is the GDP per capita, the weighted mean would be you multiply the weight, that is population, with the GDP per capita and, and sum it up. So here's what I have illustrated here. So population times GDP per capita, and I've put all these figures for US, China, and Luxembourg here. And then this summation sign WIXI is this value because I've multiplied the population with GDP for all and summed it up here. And also we have looked at the, the sum, of, sum of WI is the total sum of weights, which is population. So sum of the three countries' population, I get 16, 1.65 billion. As I divide this number, which is represented here in the equation, by the denominator, which is here, I get the weighted GDP of $11,786. $11, and that is the correct GDP for the three countries after we have weighted it down. Um, as an illustration, I'm using Professor Hammermesh's data on teaching ratings, where students rated professors on their teaching. And the, the data set um, and other supporting files, including this, this PowerPoint, is available at this URL, which is basically tinyurl.com forward slash hammer mesh. Uh, so th let's say if a professor got a uh, course evaluation of four and there were 45 students who participated in the survey, then that weight has to be evaluated, that evaluation score has to be weighted by the number of students who participated in course evaluation survey. So the students serve as weights. So how do you do um, weighted means in R? Well, you load the data set you attach the data set, and there, there's a fine distinction, and this is only specific to R. 
you type attach note that this is lowercase a attach file name whatever the file name is and if you don't do this then every time you refer to a variable such as evaluation eval here you have to put a dollar sign before it and then the name of the data set so the data set we are using is called teaching ratings then I would put a dollar sign and then the variable name so that the software knows that this evaluate eval variable comes from this particular data set now there's a way to avoid this 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 uh, redundant exercise uh, every time you just say attach and then the file name and then you can refer to eval as just eval so I have illustrated these concepts in R and before I go there I'll show you the table that I'm trying to reproduce so in the professor Hammermesh paper paper on teaching evaluation is listed on the website that I showed earlier and the average course evaluation is 4.022 which is a weighted mean and the weighted standard deviation is 0.525. Let's try to do these exercises in R. R has a built-in function as I mentioned earlier so let's look at the built-in function or oh, why don't we I just look at the function un, uh, the unweighted mean first so I just type here mean and then say eval that's the variable that is the evaluation score and I click on submit or you can press Control R and this is the unweighted mean and then the weighted mean so you type weighted dot mean the variable of interest eval comma and then the number the weights which are students and I say submit and here's the weighted mean 4.022 which is slightly different from 3.99 now the mean is mean if you type mean in lowercase as I illustrated earlier and standard deviation has the command name is just SD so if I type mean of all students, which is the number of students registered in the class, and SD of all students, I can get these variables computed. So I just highlight all three of these. And I say submit, and you could see that the mean of all, total, all so on average a class had 55 students, the standard deviation for total students registered in the class were 75, and the weighted mean again came up as 4.02, which we have already computed.